The point is, I don't know if he's ever won your playoff series. I, I mean, he, he was great against the Penguins. It was a four-game sweep. It's really hard to look at that and say that he carried, you know. So, but, so if, if, he'd, if it were like 2011 first round against the Canadians and he had a couple of clunkers, that ends up being a seven-game series and he comes up big, he plays at the end of that series the way that he played that entire series, then we're saying, okay, he's the guy that got you through it. When in reality, he was just good the whole time. He's the reason why you were why it was a why you didn't need someone to win you the series. You know what I'm saying? Like you didn't have to grind out that series because he shut down Evgeny Malkin, Jerome Ginla, Sidney Crosby, Chris Kunitz when he was still alive. A lot of good players. You feel he has something to prove, DJ? Would you at least give me that? It's been four years yeah. since he's won a playoff series. He should have it in his mind that he has something to prove for sure. But all these guys should. And I think that I think that this team is probably pleasantly surprised by what they are this season. So I think that a lot of them, probably Tuca at the top of the list, is invigorated or reinvigorated. I think that they probably that Tuca probably thought with the way he'd been playing, with the way the team had been playing, with them trading Dougie Hamilton, with them trading Johnny Boychuk, that he was like, you know what? They paid me and that's good, but this situation really sucks for me. And I'll ride it out. And that's, I mean, a lot of players do that and they become fat and happy. And maybe Tuca might have been trending that way or he may have been, may have been at risk at become, of becoming that. But I think that now guys like him, guys like, I mean, you never need to worry about Chara and Bergeron getting up for stuff. But I think that they look at the situation and they're like, this gives them maybe a little more juice.